Fisker owners need service and they're not getting it. So what do we do? Let's go through a scenario right now. I switched to an Ocean 1 in December, but got an incomplete Ocean 1 in January. It's missing the trailer hitch, software, and of course, the Ocean 1 extras. In addition to the not fully functional software, I don't have working in-dash vents. I do have 2.0, including the fob update, but there's a plethora of minor issues with open cases and our one remaining tech knows of the issues, but has fixed what he can without parts. Have you heard of anyone working with Fisker Financial? My friend suggested working with the bank, letting them know we're not gonna make any more payments because we did not receive a car meeting the contractual specifications. The goal would be to limit our financial liability, have the bank put pressure on Fisker to fix the car, which may or may not happen, and reduce the price of the car. So how could we get Chase Bank involved? What if everybody that owned an ocean and had Fisker Finance called on the same day and said no more payments until my vehicle has service? Now you're putting your credit at risk and your car. And at the end of the day, financially, it does nothing for you. Here's why. The most recent 8K states that Fisker will provide their note holder with a budget and not spend anything outside of it. The company agreed to provide the investor with a new three-week budget and cash flow forecast. And that's to be expected. But on top of that, Fisker also has, quote, agreed not to use, transfer, or expend any funds or monies for any purpose other than set forth in the approved budget, end quote. And they just don't have enough people to service all these cars. They've had to let them go because they don't have the money to pay them. So even if Chase Bank were to come knocking and say, hey, our customers aren't going to pay until you pony up some of this service and software you promised, Fisker's not allowed to help. This budget is not a Fisker budget. It is an approved budget from the note holder. And all the note holder wants is to be whole before Fisker runs out of anything to convert to cash. So my advice on this one, extremely good idea. In a lot of cases, this would make a big dent and a big difference. But in this case, you're just adding another risk to the list of risks that come with owning a Fisker O. Ocean. There are ocean owners out there that don't know what to do, and any day, any one of us could become one of them. What do you think we do to solve it? You can reach out to me at adamsevreviews at yahoo.com or let me know down in the comments below. This is a short video. I've got a pretty big one coming up very soon and a whole lot of news to break in the month of May. Join Patreon or become a YouTube member for early access to videos and subscribe so you don't miss anything. We'll see you on the next one. Smash the like button. Thank you.